What's going on y'all? Welcome back to the channel. If you're new to the channel, my name is Nick and welcome to the channel. Today I'm going to be doing a product review of a new company. Ah, I guess they're not a new company, but they're an up and coming company that does denim. So jeans. And the name of the company is MNML. So it's minimal. Minimal without the vowels. So basically what this company did is if you're unfamiliar with uh, Fear of God, I don't know if you know the company, Fear of God, FOG, they're uh, also a denim company. I think they do other clothing, but mainly known for denim, and they do really, really, really expensive denim, usually over like upwards of $1,000 for a pair of jeans, and these are the jeans that you see like Justin Bieber, Kanye, Scott Disick, always wearing around like the rips in them, and you know, very expensive, very high quality type of jeans. Now, Minimal basically took the exact same design as the Fear of God jeans, like almost down to a T, and I've read on forums that they basically are nearly identical in quality, and they price them at $64 for a pair of jeans from their company. So since I learned about the company, since I found it, I've ordered two different types of their denim, two different jeans. One I've had for like a month or so, maybe two months. The other one I just got in, which you'll see in unboxing, in a couple minutes. So I have two different pairs of denim which I'll be trying on and kind of reviewing for you guys today. Now they make two different types of denims. They're like called the M and the S. So they have M, I'm not even sure what M stands for, but the M denim comes with a zipper going down like from halfway through your calf all the way down to where it hits your ankle, which like 95% of people don't really fuck with. They fit awesome, but they have a zipper coming down the legs and like they didn't have any of their pairs of jeans and the Fear of God jeans have these as well, but they didn't, Minimal didn't make any pairs of jeans that came zipperless until very recently. So as soon as they made those, because I love how the first pair fit on me, they made a different type of denim called the S denim. So they have the M with the zippers and the S, which stand for slim. Uh, and they come without the zippers. The M is more of a relaxed fit, so it's got more room going down the thighs. The S is slim, obviously is a little slimmer down the thighs. So I was a little nervous when I ordered them because a lot of dudes like myself have bigger thighs than like calves, obviously. So if it's like tight around your thighs, it looks super awkward. I don't want to get into the specifics of the two different types of denims and like the sizes that I have. I'll get to that in a second, but let's get to the unboxing of the new pair that I got. Size 31, size 32. Beautiful. They literally, oh, they come with nails. I don't know what the fuck that's about, but. Okay. So, I have two different pairs as I mentioned. These are the new ones that just came in. They are the S denim. There's no holes, no rips or anything like that. Just like a nice faded pair of jeans. No zippers coming down the side. Just like a slim fit down to the ankle. And then you have the M. Uh, I believe those are the S33, if you're looking on the website, I'm not sure, these might be like, I don't know, you could find them on. These have a slight, there's no rips in them, it's just like the style, the design of the knee, but they do have the zippers going down, and they look a lot weirder now than they do on, on, on your body actually. So let me try these both on for you. And as shown in the unboxing, I ordered two pairs, because these ones, the ones with the zippers, I ordered in a size... 32. Let's try these bad boys on. All right, so I'm putting the 31s on. And as you could see, woo! I feel like a chick putting these bad boys on. They don't fit around my waist at all. They don't fit around my thighs. So we're gonna chalk this up as an L. I'm gonna send these back to the company. Ugh. And uh, let's try on the size 32. But I do love how they fit around the, uh, I can't even get them up. Legs and calves, they're nice, tight, tapered fit there. So hopefully it stays the same with the with the size up. Okay, so I'm putting the 32s on, and I can already tell they fit a lot, a lot better around the thigh action area. These ones have a nice, you know, got room around the thighs, so they're good to go there. As for the ankles, they still have a nice tapered look going down. I mean, all this doesn't matter if you don't have cool socks anyway, so don't waste your time buying jeans if you don't have cool socks, you don't have fucking dope donut socks like myself. So these are nice taper around the calves, ankle area. They're not gonna go past your, your foot. So this is, these have a really good fit. I like these already a lot. 
So here's what they look like from like a lower point of view. Good fit through the legs, good taper down the legs. You know, they're they're not they're definitely not too tight, but they fit nice and snug. I'm a fan, big fan, definitely be keeping these. Let me try some on foot for you. Here's what they look like with shoes on. I got the the clean ultra boosts from the side. The bike, hit it from the bike. Watching Ninja wreck you. Here's the taper down by the shoes. So that is the S33 denim. The S33 denim, size 32. For reference, I am five foot 10, five foot 11, 165 pounds. Pretty slim athletic body frame, so. These fit really well, 31 do not fit. Maybe if I lost a couple pounds. So next up we have the M denim. As I said before, they're definitely, if uh, if your style is like minimum, you don't really like a lot of extra flashy shit, then these are definitely not for you. Um, they have this the kind of rips in, there's no actual rips. They have, you know, the scuffs in the knees. They also have these zippers. So once you put them on, you zip them all the way down. I know it's weird to have zippers, but they give like this area a really nice tapered look. So I'm a big fan of how these fit once they're zippered. You know, they're tight around the cast, but there's room around the thighs. You can see there's a zipper. It's not like crazy noticeable. You could always tuck this part into the shoe. Let me show you with, with some shoe action on. I didn't even put the boots on for the last time. These fit really well with the Ultra Boosts. Bing, bang, boom. That's how they look. See the inside, it's a little weird. And honestly, they look pretty good if you unzipper it like maybe like an inch or two and you could put them over the fold, put the top over the, the tongue of the shoe. And that's a, that's a pretty popular style right now for people wearing these types of jeans. You know, they look good, I'm a fan. I'm just gonna keep trying the moonwalk on camera. It's not working. I, I really like both of these jeans, they fit really well. I'm someone who kind of has difficulty finding jeans because my thighs are definitely way bigger than my calves are. And I have really small calves and you know, my body structure is just not well. It's not like a good aesthetic look for a lot of jeans, but these I found to fit really well and they're only $64 for a pair of jeans. And I actually found a 10% coupon code online somewhere. If I could find it by the time I'm editing this video, I'll put it in the description below. Now the only real problem I have with, uh, with this company is they don't do free returns. So it's hard to order jeans online and you don't know how they fit, how they look. So when you order it, you order it. And then if they don't fit, you send it back. You have to pay the shipping fees. And if you're just straight up doing a return for your money, they also take a stocking fee. So unless you're actually returning it for another size or another pair or something like that, you have to pay for shipping as well as um, the restocking fee, which I'm not, I think it's like 10% or 15% or something. So you end up paying like an extra 15 bucks if they don't fit well. So you have to be careful with that. That's my only beef with the company. Otherwise, I think the jeans fit very well, um, very in style for what, you know, what people want now. They have a nice thigh fit and a good taper from your knee down to your ankle where it's a good fit around your calves and you could really show off your shoes and stuff. If you're into shoes, if you buy a lot of shoes like myself, I've probably spent like a $5,000 on Adidas shoes this year. I didn't even file my taxes this year. I was just like, yo, Trump, all my income went to Adidas. Yeah, and you know what, that's the end of the video. If you liked the video, please give it a thumbs up. If you wanna see more videos like this, let me know, leave a comment down below. Leave a comment if you found other low-key jean companies that are very good, that have good denim, good fit, good price, you know, all that stuff. Subscribe to the channel if you're new and you enjoyed. And that's it, Big Dogs out. Baby, I beg you, yeah. my shoes last night I don't know where I put my keys I was tired and fell asleep beneath an oak tree I've been